I'm going to show you in this video best settings to configure your QBitter and client to increase your downloading speed. Before beginning to this video, please consider subscribing my channel for more tech videos. First step, in order to utilize the maximum bandwidth of your internet connection for your QBitter and client, we need to configure some settings in DNS server. First go to network, then go to network and internet settings. Here you can either go to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Go in any option as you want. Then go to change adapter options. Now you need to select your internet connection on which you are connected. Right click on it. Go inside properties and click on this internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. By default your DNS server is automatically set by your ISP internet service provider which is very slow most of the times. So now we need to add manually DNS server address here. So there are so many DNS server addresses I have tested but I like personally Cloudflare DNS server address. So prefer DNS type 1, 1, 1 and 1 and alternative DNS address type 1, 0, 0 and 1 and then hit OK button. After changing this DNS server, make sure sign out or restart your system to make these changes take effect. Second step, we need to whitelist our QBitter and client in Windows Firewall. Head over to the Start menu and search for Windows Defender Firewall. Then click on Allow an app or feature. Now in the list of allowed apps and features, you need to check whether your QBitter is listed here with public and private administrative rights. I have already added my QBitTorrent client in this whitelist with private and public administrative rights. But for you, if it's not added, you have to add it here manually by clicking on allow another app. Click on browse and select install directory of your QBitTorrent client and then add it. As I have already added, so it's showing me error a BitTorrent client is already in the list of exception. Third step, now we need to open our Cube BitTorrent client. Then go to connection settings. Here in peer connection protocol, it must be TCP and UTP. Port used for incoming connection, you must click on random button. Once it will generate best fitted port for your client. Here leave all these settings as a default setting. I hope these settings will boost downloading speed in your Cube BitTorrent client. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. For more tech videos like these, stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching this video.